The girls in Joburg are buying out this bag like there is no tomorrow. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Minky, this is The Glam Guide. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below so that you guys can join the Glammy gang and that you don't miss out on any of the action. Guys, guys, we are gonna talk about this thing today, okay? Luxury Wishlist 2021. Now, let's do some housekeeping before, before we, we go forward, right? So, this is just a luxury wish list. These are things that I have my eye on. It does not mean I am going to buy everything on this list, but it means that there are some things that I have got my eye on. Also, as with any list, sometimes I can take things off, sometimes I can add new things, and then other things will just be carried over into next year. But I just wanted to share with you guys what my luxury wish list is. You guys know that I am a liker of things, okay? So we're about to get into it guys we're about to get into it if you guys are into lux and all of that then you are at the right place and if not i have a bunch of other videos that you guys can watch so i will see you in one of those right let's just jump straight into it if you see me looking this way i am looking at my laptop so yes let's get into it let's start with gucci okay i really want the thin gg belt Yes, I said it. I said I want the Gucci Maman belt. Listen, influencers have been telling us that that belt is out of fashion, whatever. I I couldn't care less, guys. I really, I just couldn't care less. Let me tell you, okay. I really would like it in either the tan color with obviously like the aged gold hardware or in the white color. But I'm not 100% sure which one, but I'm leaning towards the tan. Now, I will get the white if the tan is not available because... You know, in South Africa, sometimes we don't get the same stock and whatever. So, so it has to be between the white and the tan. I'm not sure which one it's going to be, but I'm going to get it. I just, I've thought about it for so long. It is a belt that I have literally, I've wanted it for the past two years straight and have never pulled the trigger. So I feel like we're going to do it. Okay, we're going to do it. Next, we have the Ace Leather Sneakers, okay? Again, another item that people say is basic, everyone has it, but I just feel like it's such a nice trainer. It's at a reasonable price point for it to be um, designer, and all of the reviews that I've watched, people have really loved them. So I don't have any luxury sneakers, like designer sneakers in my collection, and I thought, why not go with these ones i really do like them guys i don't want to lie to you you can see like you can tell that i genuinely like these things because i'm only jumping onto them now like they were hot back in 2017 and i'm only jumping onto them right now because i just feel like i'm ready to commit okay love them i think that they're great i think that they're going to go with a bunch of different outfits and i just feel like they're timeless now the ones that i want are the plain ones so either the ones that are completely plain or the ones that have the b on them but i'm leaning more towards the ones that are completely plain because i like the fact that both of the backs like the back of it is green whereas on the other ones that have like the b on them or the designs the one side is green and the one side is red and it just gives me like christmasy vibes and i don't know there's i just i'm not feeling it so that is definitely what we're gonna get we're also also on the wish list we have got the prince town leather slippers now these slippers are either going to match are going to match the belt okay so if i can get a white pair of these um of these leather slippers then i will get the white belt and vice versa with the tan now, the reason that I want these is because another item that I wanted, okay? So I really wanted these shoes, but I felt like I didn't own a pair of mules, so I didn't want to commit to something that was so expensive without actually trying it to see if it suited my taste. So what I did was I bought a pair from Coach. Really, really great quality, like great quality leather and all of that, and I wore them almost to death. The fact that those shoes still look as good as they do for how much wear I put them through, girl. Let me tell you, those shoes have gone overseas with me. Those shoes have seen work, full work days. Those shoes have, those shoes have, they've just been through a lot. And the fact that they're still standing means a lot. So I think I am ready to commit to the Prince Town ones because I just feel like it's a Gucci classic. You know, you can never go wrong with those. Again, as I said, in the white or in the tan. 
And lastly from Gucci, I really want the Dionysus leather chain bag. So the mini one, guys, I need this bag, okay? But I need this bag for a specific reason and I need this bag in a specific color. I really want it in the emerald green color. If you guys see this baby, let me tell you, let me tell you. This babe is so beautiful. I love the fact that there's the gold hardware on the um on the spur like right in the front and then the chain is sort of like a gunmetally no, is it gunmetal gray? I'm not sure. But it's like a it's like a silver chain, right? And then it's a silver chain. So I love the mixing of metals. And this emerald green is just so beautiful. Like it's so rich. And I feel like this would be the perfect evening bag. This would be a bag that I would use in the evenings, maybe sometimes in the daytime. But like I love the fact that if you don't know it's Gucci, then you just don't know, you know what I mean? So it's very like low key, very beautiful, sophisticated looking. The color is gorgeous. It's grained. Um, I think it's calf skin. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's grained calf skin. And uh, I don't know. I just really love it. You know what? Say what you want. Maybe I am basic, like whatever. Like <laughs> whatever but i just that is what i want from gucci because i'm not too crazy about like trend pieces especially when i'm buying designer i would rather buy pieces that i know i can wear like five ten years down the line and they still look timeless so maybe that's why and with gucci like some of their pieces are super trendy like i can't get behind that like they're just too trendy for me they're too they're not really my style but these items i feel like Yes, yes. Let's move on to Louis Vuitton, okay? First on the list, before we go too far, Alma BB, yay! I have been crying, crying for this bag for the longest time. I just, I don't know why, you know what? I don't know why I don't ever buy it. <laughs> And the price keeps going up. I don't know why I didn't buy it last year or the year before. I really just, I think about it now and I'm like, I just don't understand. And between last year and this year, it's gone up. Well, between 2019 and now, it's gone up like four grand. Okay, like I'm not even joking. This bag keeps going up. So I'm going to pull the trigger. And I love Louis Vuitton classics. Okay, I would like the Alma BB in the Damier Aben print because that is my favorite print from Louis Vuitton. I love it. It's my favorite. Okay, so I have the Neverfull in the Damier Aben. I have the Speedy in the Damier Aben, and now I want the Alma BB in the in the Damier Aben. And I just feel like then my collection will be complete. I feel like the classics collection is not complete without this bag. This is top of my priority list. I think on this wish list, it is right at the top. It is a number one and we're going to do it. We're going to do it. But this is also if we can get them in stock because the girls in Joburg are buying out this bag like there is no tomorrow. So if there is stock, I'm going to have to call my essay and find out if there is stock and have them put one aside for me whenever they come into the country because they are starting to become a little bit of a hard to find. So yes, I just love it. I think that they're beautiful. I think it's a classic shape and it's definitely a must. Next from Louis Vuitton, guys, let us talk about the Laureate Platform Desert Boot. I need this. I, okay, I'm saying I'm so, guys, I am literally, <laughs> I am exaggerating. Okay, no one needs Louis Vuitton, but I saw these boots and I fell in love. So, I don't know if you guys watch Cassie Thorpe. So, she is, um, also a luxe youtuber from the uk i love her i stan okay and so she did a video talking about um the louis vuitton items that she wouldn't buy um the popular ones that she isn't going to buy i'll link her video down below and she said that she loved this boot as well when she first saw it the only issue was the only problem was when she put it on it just didn't make sense with her it wasn't really her style and whatever and it just didn't look good on her and that is what i'm afraid of this boot in particular is not it's not particularly my style but i love it and i think that it would make such a great addition to my wardrobe especially now that we're entering like autumn winter i would love this boot i would love it but i have to try it on so this one mm, 
I don't know we're going to have to see but I love it it looks great in the picture I've seen people wearing it like on Pinterest and all of that they look great I don't know I don't know I really want it it is so it's so like and this is the thing right I am not someone who typically go would go for like a monogram shoe like a shoe with any kind of monograms on it but this one has been so tastefully done <laughs> and it's just so pretty it's just such a nice boot so I'm gonna have to try it on I'm gonna have to try it on and if it makes sense also I don't know how much it costs in rands because I also have a, a budget as to how much I can spend on a shoe not a hundred percent sure how much it is in in rands um if it's over 20k then I, it's, it's a wrap but we're gonna have to see maybe I should do a shopping vlog like when I actually go out and go shopping if ever I get the time then maybe I should take you guys with and then we can try them on and then we can see we can check off wishlist items together I don't know let me know if you guys would like to see that but yes Laureate platform desert boot definitely on the list but do you know what I also really like from Louis Vuitton guys and I never thought that I would like it because this bag is just so not my style and I'm surprised too that this is on the list because this bag is not my style actually to be fair the monogram version of this bag isn't my style but when I saw this one I was just like yes 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 okay the multi pochette accessoire in the cream on prank leather what do we think what do we think i love it i think it's just a really nice like casual vibe i think it's just pretty i've seen reviews on it and i've seen people doing i've seen people doing like youtube reviews on it and when they show it to the camera like especially the one in the cream color when they show it i just feel like i've never seen this bag in person but when i see it on camera i just feel like the camera is not doing it justice i just feel like the camera is not doing it enough i feel like in person it is a hundred times better i love the fact that it's got an adjustable strap so you can wear it as a shoulder situation you can also wear a cross body and then it's also got the chain strap and also what's nice about it is that you can sort of like undo it and then just use like the one bag with the one strap or both the bags with one strap or both the bags with two straps or like there are so many different ways to wear it so I really love it for that versatility so you could wear it like as a date night bag but you could also wear it during the day like even if you're wearing like sweatpants and heels like it's a vibe right it's a thing so it's on the list, but it's a bit steep for me, hey? It's over $2,000, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know right now. Girl, the budget is talking, but it is on the list. Let's work really hard, and then maybe, maybe we will see what we can do. So, Burberry, okay? Burberry, again, the classics. I would really like, it's very simple, hey? My list from Burberry is very simple two things and two things only i would love a check shirt slightly oversized check burberry shirt it is such a vibe for me it is such a vibe burberry like back in the day was really hot and then people sort of got over it but i think now like people are starting to be like mm, mm, that's that's kind of cute okay this i just love it so imagine this check shirt slightly oversized you knot it in the front kind of sexy right white skinny jeans high waist for me because honey no one is trying to do the low the low right situation okay so high waist like skinny jeans like really nice like tight fitting looking all good nude heel little handbag brown shades it's a vibe it is such a vibe i really want the shirt and yeah that's all <laughs> that's it I want the shirt so yes and then also from Burberry I would love a classic trench coat now I do have a trench coat from a different uh, designer in black so this one I would really like it in the um, in the honey color so that is just like the original you know like that tan Burberry color just a simple one the Islington is the one that I'm looking at I also went into Burberry at Hyde Park the other day they had it in my size I tried it on it looked fab it hit me at the right place because I'm also like five foot three so I need to be careful with the sizing 
So um, I went and I tried it on. It hit me like right above the knee. So it was perfect, like a really great length to wear during the daytime open or to close it up underneath the dress for like a nighttime vibe. Really nice beautiful piece it's a classic okay it's a beautiful piece it's a classic and i just i feel like i can't go wrong one item from prada okay it took me a while to come around i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie it took me it took me a minute to come around i really like the nylon bucket bag from Prada okay so this bucket bag is so cute it's literally like yay small I have a friend who actually owns one and it is cute I think that when I saw hers I was like okay I'm sold it's it's tiny okay it's like yay big and it's got like a little top handle but it's also got a strap so the reason that I want this is because I feel like I don't have a casual enough bag for day to day you know, I don't have a casual enough bag that I can wear if I'm like wearing sweatpants and sneakers and like, you know, a t-shirt or whatever. I don't have a casual enough bag. I just like use my coach bag and like, it's fine. It works. It, it doesn't look out of place or anything, but I'd like something that is just a little bit more casual, but with also like a bit of pizzazz, you know what I mean? So that's on the list. It's not a high priority on the list, but it is on the list. It's really cute. And yeah, in the black color, as I said, it's got gold hardware, really nice, simple, cute for every day, just running around. Yeah. This is now the thing that is gonna take me out. Okay, let's move on to jewelry. Let us move on to jewelry, guys. Okay, Cartier. I would love the Mon Montre tank solo watch the stainless steel with the black leather strap i do not have a watch with a black leather strap <clears throat> or with any leather strap at this point and this for me is such a beautiful piece it is so classic i really want this watch cartier is a renowned you know like watch brand and stuff so i feel like it would be a really great investment piece and something that one day i would pass on to my kids i think that would be great so yeah lastly 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 on my wish list i would love oh my gosh i would love a tennis bracelet okay i would love a diamond tennis bracelet i don't want anything too big like between two and three carats is fine i don't want anything too big because i want something that i'm i can wear with like the stack like on an everyday basis and it not look too out of place oh i would love it i would love it i think though that this this particular piece we might i don't know i'm gonna have to get like family members to chip in <laughs> and the whole nine because it's it's pretty up there in price but again like another classic piece another piece that i will literally have forever and i'm also the type of person like i don't buy a lot of if i buy costume jewelry i buy from swarovski um because i just feel like they have the best quality like i don't buy uh like cheaper jewelry anymore i haven't in like two or three years like i just i don't buy jewelry like that anymore and um, because i would rather invest in actual you know precious metals and an actual like real proper fine jewelry so yeah i don't have a large jewelry collection and my jewelry collection probably won't get much bigger but what i do have is very like curated and all of my pieces are precious and valuable so this is another piece that i would like to add to my collection and i really want this for my birthday I think like I feel like this is what I want to get myself for my birthday so we'll just have to see but I would love it guys that is it for my luxury wish list I will definitely do an updated one maybe later on in the year but yeah guys I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what is in your luxury wish list I would definitely love to know what you've got your eye on what you're lusting over I would love to know in the comments down below I love you guys all so 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 much thank you for watching if you have not subscribed please make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys all in the next one Mwah. bye guys